Hi everyone, John Mitchell here, Mayor of New Bedford, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So we've got a few quick hits this week. Uh, you may have noticed that the city rolled out a new tourism marketing campaign. It's called Explore New Bedford, and uh, it's a great idea. Uh, it's headed up, uh, initiated, and pushed by our tourism and marketing department, uh, which itself is headed up by Ashley Payne. And the idea, the brand Explored New Bedford is really inspired uh, or prompted by a question we hear from people all the time who come to our city, and it's this. Uh, when people come here, you hear them say, I didn't know that was fill in the blank here in New Bedford. Uh, they're surprised. It's almost like they've discovered us. We know that we're not uh, being discovered in, in, that, in, in a sense, but in some ways, uh, the people uh, will come here not, not knowing what to expect of New Bedford, and uh, they're um, almost invariably pleasantly surprised. And so the idea of exploring New Bedford is really to invite people to come on in and do exact, and have those experiences. So, um, so uh, that's, that's, uh, you'll see lots more about Explore New Bedford, but that's what it's about. It's a way of convincing people to come here in our city, spend some money here, go back and tell their friends, and hopefully those friends will come too, and so forth. So uh, great effort on their part. We look forward to uh, seeing the rollout of that brand. The second thing I wanted to talk about uh, today was the, is the bookmobile. So the, we've had a bookmobile around in the past. We have a new enhanced uh, bookmobile arrangement now. So you'll see it out at uh, a number of places around the city, around uh, uh, housing and senior uh, centers and some other places, schools. Uh, we really want to bring library services to everybody uh, conveniently. It's not to say that we're going to be moving the library around or closing the library or any of that stuff. It's just a matter of getting people better connected to the library system. So you'll see that. The Community Preservation Act funding uh, was determined by the Community Pres Preservation Act Committee. This is primarily for historic preservation and open space and recreation. Uh, you'll see a number of historic preservation projects funded by the CPA around the city, about $2.1 million worth, so it's a fair amount of money. It's what we put into it is matched significantly by the state. It's about a, it, it varies a lot by year to year, but it's roughly uh, a quarter or so of what we put in. We get a match from the additional money from the state, so it works pretty well. Um, but you'll see uh, new playgrounds and new some historic preservation on um, on a number of things around the city. So something to, to, for everybody to look forward to. The uh, the last thing I just want to say is uh, I just want to thank everybody who put so much work into the New Bedford Half Marathon last week. It went really well. There was a huge jump in participation. A lot more people ran the race this year. And that's for a variety of reasons, but uh, not the least of which is just the, the work that the race committee put into it. So. To all the volunteers, to all the runners, to the race committee, and to everybody who was handing out drinks or, or water. Some people are handing out drinks, but water and, uh, and clapping on the sidelines just, uh, during the race. I just want to say thank you. Thanks for being there. Uh, it was a terrific event that showed off our city very well. With all that, this has been the Mayor's Weekly Update. We'll see you next week.